Hey there, boils and ghouls. It's your friend Taryn Tats. I'm back with another video. And uh, yeah, I got another 4K Blu-ray to review today. And uh, I'm really happy that I got this one. And uh, this is an Italian zombie movie, cannibal, jungle cannibal movie, mad scientist movie. That's one of the things I love about that. And I'll talk about that here in a minute. Just like this movie is kind of like just a hodgepodge of all kinds of different horror subgenres thrown in together. But uh, yeah. Courtesy of Severin, which, uh, you know, boy, oh boy, you know, between Severin, right now, between Severin and Vinegar Syndrome, uh, I was like, man, those two are the ones really, like, you know, taking the hit against my bank account worse than anybody, but, uh, anyway, so, we'll get to that in just a second, but, um, if I could just, you know, have your indulgence for a couple of seconds, yeah, I picked up a couple of, uh, Blu-rays that, uh, you know, you know, it's, it's about Christmas time now, so, you know, got to start getting some good holiday films, and so I figure I'd pick this one up, so we have 13 Slays Till Christmas. I've heard of this movie. I've heard it's supposed to be a pretty good uh, Christmas horror anthology. Um, I haven't had a chance to see it yet. No, that's my oven. Got tater tots going. But anyway, so, sorry about that. But anyway, yeah, just um, uh, this one here, I've heard of it, and... Christmas horror movies are definitely, Christmas horror is one of my favorite horror subgenres, and I really enjoy a lot of these movies, and, uh, you know, it's like, you know, especially when they have an element of fun to them, like, uh, you know, like I just watched The Mean One, the, the, uh, kind of horror movie version of The Grinch, um, uh, if you haven't seen it, one Christmas horror movie I strongly recommend, you know, it's, you know, you could watch it for free, it's on Amazon Prime, I know, it's on uh, Vudu. Uh, I don't know about Tubi or any of the or any other channels, but um, it's called Mercy Christmas, and uh, that movie is amazing. It's a great. It's very low budget, but you know it's about a guy who goes with this girl to her family's house for Christmas dinner, only to find out that he's the turkey, and it's not just him, but two other people are, you know, trapped in this house, and come to find out the the people in this house are a family of cannibals, and you know. But, uh, yeah, so if you ever get a chance, if you want a good Christmas horror, uh, Christmas horror kind of comedy and stuff of that, Mercy Christmas, I can't recommend that movie enough. And, uh, also too, though, but, yeah, like I said, I can't wait, you know, uh, unfortunately I got to work today, but tomorrow I'm going to be off, so I can't wait to watch this and finally get a chance to see it, so, yeah. But 13 Slays Till Christmas, you know, and that's another thing too, is like, uh, I really want to keep working on building up my Christmas horror movie collection. I got quite a few, but, oh uh, man, like I said, I love this subgenre of horror and I want to keep building it up. This one here, oh man, this one, uh, I had this uh, three disc limited edition Blu-ray set years ago and like an idiot, I got rid of it because I upgraded to the 4K. Not that I'm upset about having this movie on 4K, but, you know, just, I, it was really a stupid, short-sighted move, and I shouldn't have done it, and I regretted it ever since, and, uh, you know, just, this is a beautiful, even though it is Blu-ray, and I'm still, I still have the 4K, um, but, uh, yeah, just, I've been wanting to get this back, and that is Maniac, the lenticular cover from Blue Underground, and just, you know, like, I regret getting rid of this, and, it was a huge mistake. I never should have done it. And, uh, you know, also too, it's like, you know, you guys know I love my soundtracks and, you know, when I got rid of this, it's like, I no longer, you know, the 4k unfortunately didn't come with the, the CD soundtrack or anything like that. But, uh, but anyways, like, yeah, I still got the 4k, but like I said, when I did the, uh, house by the cemetery 4k review, um, I am really ser sincerely hoping that, uh, um, uh, arrow is going to do like the big collector box, you know, something for this on 4K, you know, kind of like they did for House by the Cemetery. You know, I'm holding out hope, but uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm finally, I'm just so glad to finally get this back into my collection again. And, you know, like I said, you know, I mean, nothing against the 4K. I still have the 4K, but, you know, yeah, this here, you know, glad to finally get this back in my collection. So happy about that. All right, from Severin, like I said, you know, I got the, uh, I did hit up the Black Friday sale for Severin, and I got the three 
there were a couple of other ones I wouldn't mind, but it's like, eh, getting a little tight on money right now. And these things are not exactly cheap either. So I ended up uh, just going for the three that I really, really want the most. And uh, that was uh, Cemetery Man and the Sect and the Church. And, uh, you know, I was like, oh man, I can't wait to get those in. I think you guys already know when I get those in, I'm going to do video, video or videos on those. But, uh, oh man, I cannot wait. You know, especially Cemetery Man. I am so psyched to get Cemetery Man. It's like, that's a movie. I love that movie. I've seen it years ago, and it's a movie I've always wanted to have in my collection, but I was never lucky enough to come across it. I know there was a Blu-ray of it from, I think it was Shameless, that you could import over, but I heard it was really poor quality. But, uh, you know, but yeah, just, oh man, I cannot wait to see, you know, the job that you know, I... I am so looking forward to it. I really think Severance is going to probably knock it out of the ballpark with that one. But anyway, so today we're going to talk about, from 1980, we're going to talk about Zombie Holocaust. Or, if you prefer this title, Dr. Butcher, MD, Medical Deviant. Deviant. Sorry. What did they, what did they say? Like, he's a sick, degenerate rapist or whatever, and, and he makes house calls. Yeah, this movie was, uh, and it, it's, and it, it's not what it is. It's an Italian horror film, and like I said, it's a hodgepodge of, you know, they just kind of threw a lot of different subgenres into a blender, and you got this movie, you got, um, yeah, unfortunately, you could tell mine got a little, little bit of damage there. So, I order, I already ordered protective cases, so I want to put this bad boy, get this bad boy nice and cased up once the cases come in, but, but, uh, you know, I always enjoy this film, and I get a good laugh out of it. It's one of the video nasties and stuff. And uh, this was made, you know, pretty much not, pretty much like, I don't know, not, not like right after um, Fulci made Zombie, but it was pretty dang close because, you know, if you watch this movie, um, if you watch Fulci Zombie and you watch this movie, you could tell, like, you know, several of the cast members in this movie, like Ian McCulloch and stuff, you know, several of the cast members in, that are in this were in Fulci's movie Zombie, and you could tell like some of the the uh, there was like the little uh, mission church thing, you know, the, the little church setting that you know same thing. You could tell they used a lot of the same sets and the same uh, locations and everything else to make this movie. And uh, oh man, but this movie is a hoot. And I do feel bad though. I'm I'm sorry. You know, I'll get to the. I promise I will get to the details in just a second, but. I do feel bad, though, because, like, you know, uh, my friend Rob uh, from uh, VHS 82 Apostrophe, you know, it's like he absolutely loves Italian cinema. He adores it. You know, it's he has such a huge place in his heart for it. And I understand that. I get that. But I'm sorry, Rob, but there are mo moments in this movie you can't help but laugh at it, you know. Like, there's one part, you know, that I can't help it. It cracks me up every time I see it. There's a scene in the movie where this guy is sneaking into a, he's sneaking around the hospital. He goes into the morgue, I believe, and he cuts open a cadaver and he pulls out a heart. And, like, he's getting ready to eat it. And then they catch him. And so, it's a heart or it's a kidney, something like that. And, you know, like, they take him in the hallway. He sees a window. And so he breaks free of the people holding him, and he goes and he jumps out the window. So you cut to, there's like a down shot where you're seeing the street, and you can tell what they did. They went up on top of a building, they took a mannequin, and put it in like hospital scrubs, and then they just they just threw the mannequin off the, off the uh, top of the building, and they filmed it. And then when the mannequin hits the ground, you see the arms, you know, bust loose, and the, you know, the, the arms break off and everything else. So they go down, and so it's like, you know, it cuts to, they go down, and the guy's laying there on the ground, and he's still got his arm, his arms aren't missing, but it's, I can't help it. It's funny when you see it. You see that thing hit the ground, the arms go flying off in different directions, but when they go down there, the guy's laying there, he's still got his arms, got just a little bit of blood on him and stuff. But, uh, oh man, this movie is, it's a gas. I have a lot of fun with this flick. And uh, But anyway, so, yeah, I already showed you the... That's kind of cool, though. I love the slipcover. That's one of the reasons why I want a protective case. You know, it's like, this is one of those times I really, really dig the slipcover on this. So, anyway, we take that off. This thing is, yeah, this is a nice one, too. Four-disc set. There you go. And then, uh, here we go. 
Yeah, you know what was kind of cool was uh, they did this with the Blu-ray, and now they did it with the 4K too. You get your complimentary Dr. Butcher MD vomit bag. Yeah, okay, I'm holding it right. Yeah, wow, this is, yeah, this thing's kind of like taped together or something. Oh, okay, that's how it is. All right. All right, that's a neat little twist. There we go. So, yeah. You got your own personal Dr. Butcher MD vomit bag. <laughs> he, there it is. A, he is a depraved, sadistic rapist, a blood 30C homicidal killer, and he makes house calls. You gotta admit, that is a hell of a tagline for a movie, though. But, uh, yeah. So you got that that comes in there. And, of course, you got... This is the beauty of it, too, is you have reversible cover art. So on the one side here, Zombie Holocaust. Oh, I need to hurry up and shut that. Sorry, there was a beebs on there. Now on the other side, you got Dr. Butcher MD. You definitely tell, you know, like, um, yeah, because this was, yeah, it was 1980. Yep, 1980, so... <laughs> So yeah, definitely some Dawn of the Dead influence there. And now we got our discs here. We got, there's the 4K for Dr. Butcher, MD. And we got Zombie Holocaust right there. We got the Dr. Butcher, MD, Blu-ray. Then Zombie Holocaust, Blu-ray. So in terms, of, okay. I know you know, some of you, maybe somebody out there might be asking, you know, like, okay, is there really a difference between uh, Zombie Holocaust and, and you know, uh, Dr. Butcher MD? Is it really like, you know, is there any difference like in the length, running length of the movie or anything like that? And it's like, actually, there is, okay? According to this here, hang on a second, sorry, the vomit bag didn't, never thought I'd, never thought there would be a day I'd say that in a video and can't get the vomit bag back in. But anyway, uh, yeah, there is a difference, and uh, if you between the two versions of the movie, I personally prefer Zombie Holocaust because Zombie Holocaust runs 89 minutes, and Doctor Butcher MD is 82 minutes. So, per you guys know me, I usually I prefer the longer, the extended version, the director's cuts, things like that. So you guys know me. So that's my preferred version. Um, the uh, let's see, what does it say here? Uh, yeah, I think, no. Oh my gosh. Where is that? So, I'm sorry, it's like, you know, I'm trying to find the damn, where it says the audio information. I'm having trouble with that. English mono, okay, for both. Okay, sorry about that, it took me a minute. Uh, but, um, yeah, the, uh, yeah, it turns out Zombie Holocaust came out in 1980, which obviously was like, I think that was like a year after uh, Zombie came out. And then Dr. Butcher MD came out in 1981. And, uh, you know, as far as the uh, the sound quality, it's actually really good. I have no issues with the sound quality. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, of course, obviously, if you got a good sound bar, you got a really good surround system. Yeah, this move you'd be fine. But uh, even still, just, you know, your regular speakers on your TV, actually, like, yeah, I actually, there was actually, comes like, oh, wow, I actually have to kind of turn it down a little bit. It's like, good sound on here. I no no qualms with the sound quality, at least not on mine. I didn't have any problems with the sound on mine. But uh, picture quality, I have to admit, it didn't look as good as I thought it was going to look. Um, I think because, you know, this, you know, like I said, this is, they kind of followed Zombie up with this. I mean, this is not a sequel to Zombie in any way, but, you know, but uh, I just, you know, but the thing is, is like, if you watch Zombie on 4K, it looks amazing. I, you know, you're not going to believe how good that movie really looks on 4K. And I think I was kind of expecting something similar with this. And uh, while it's not horrible, but it's, you know, I and I'm not saying Severn did a bad job. I don't think they did a bad job at all. I think they did absolutely the best they could. It just depended on you know the film elements that they had to work with. But um, you know, you definitely, of course, you got HDR and everything else. And one thing I will say is like uh, in in a couple of instances, um, unfortunately, the the a lot of the practical effects still do look pretty obvious in certain scenes. Like the uh, one part where where the one guy gets you know captured, you know he gets the 
spikes through his back and everything. So they come up and they cut his throat and everything else. Now, when I had this on just the regular Blu-ray, it was much more noticeable. I mean, you really could. It was so obvious to see the uh, neck appliance that they put on there. And here with the HDR and everything, it, it's still obvious, but it's not as glaringly obvious as it was before, you know. Um, so there are some instances where, you know, the, the HDR does help a little bit. But, um, yeah, and just... Um, Unfortunately, yeah, that is kind of a downside. Is just a lot of the effects in this movie are going to look pretty obvious when you watch this. But uh, still, um, I'm willing to bet, though, this is probably the the uh, best this movie's ever going to look. And uh, there was, like, a scene at the beginning of the movie where, you know, goes in as, like, cutting the hand off and everything else. And it's like, you know, with the HDR and the darkness kind of hiding it, you know, when I was watching it, like, on Blu-ray... You know, because, the, you know, it was, the picture was so much brighter and everything else. You could easily see, like, it was like a gelatin hand. You could see it was a fake hand or a clay hand or something like that. This here, the, yeah, the HDR kind of hides it a little bit, but it still is pretty noticeable. But, um, so yeah, I mean, uh, like I said, it's not the, it just wasn't really what I expected, but it's not awful. And, uh, there is definitely a consistent level of grain throughout the film. It's a film, so it's going to look that way. So in case if you're worried, um, it didn't look to me like there was any kind of, uh, you know, it didn't look to me like there was any kind of like, any kind of like digital processing or anything trying to like smooth it out or try to give it a more like updated look or anything like that. It looks like an older film, you know? And, uh, so anyway, so, Let's get to our bonus features. Okay, disc one, Dr. Butcher, MD, UHD, uh, theatrical trailer, video release trailer, and TV spot. Disc two, Zombie Holocaust 4K, just the trailer. And now we get to the big stuff. This is going to take a minute. Disc three, Dr. Butcher, MD, Blu-ray. One thing I will say, boy, you know, you know, bless you, Severin. You guys did not skimp on the, on the bonus features. Okay, Butchery and Ballyhoo, an interview with interview with uh, Aquarius Releasing's Terry Levine, The Four Burrows of Blood, Rue Morgue's Michael Gingold tours uh, New York locations of Italian horror, uh, Dawn of the Deuce, uh, nostalgic tour of 42nd Street with Temple of Schlock's Chris Pigoli, Pigoli, sorry I mispronounced that, and filmmaker Roy Frumke's. Um, tales uh, that tore our hearts out. Filmmakers Fred Farrell and Brendan Faulkner discuss unfinished anthology film. Roy Frumke's a segment of unfinished anthology film, uh, Tales That Will Tear Your Heart Out, with accompanying uh, director commentary. The Butcher Mobile with uh, Gore Galore editor and Butcher Mobile Barker Brick Sullivan. Uh, Cutting Dr. Butcher, interview with editor Jim Markovic. Uh, illustrated essay, experiments with a male Caucasian brain and other memories of 42nd Street by Severn OG marketing creative guru Gary Hertz. Okay, now, disc four, Zombie Holocaust, uh, Blu-ray, Voodoo Man, interview with star Ian McCulloch. Um, Blood on Blood of the Zombies interview with a special effects master Rosario Prestopino. Prestopino, I hope I said that right. Uh, let's see. Filmmaker Enzo G. Castorelli remembers his father. Filmmaker Marino Giardini. Giardani. Giardami. I'm sorry. Uh, let's see here. Neurosurgery Italian style uh, interview with special effects artist um, Maurizio Trani. Uh, Sherry Holocaust interview with actress Sherry Buchanan, Buchanan, sorry, uh, New York filming locations, uh, 1980 and 2015, and audio bonus Ian McCulloch songs, sings Down by the River. So yeah, so I mean, look at all, you get, this sucker is loaded, big time. And honestly, it's like, um, personally, I think the price was right. I got this off of Amazon, it was $39.99. And personally, I think I got a really good deal. When you consider everything that you got with it, I would say if there's one thing maybe that was missing, you know, it's like uh, I'm just surprised that 
I mean, it's not a make or break deal for me, but I'm just kind of surprised that Severin didn't include like a CD soundtrack, but that's fine. I doesn't have to have that, but I'm just kind of surprised. I mean, with it seems like with this release, they threw everything in, but the kitchen sink. So you figure they may as well just throw that in there too. But um, this movie, uh, like I said, I don't think this movie is going to win everybody over. Um, but personally, I have a lot of fun with this. And uh, it's not the most politically correct movie in the world, but I just think it's so much fun with the, you know, you know, you're throwing in all this stuff like the, you know, Cannibal Jungle movie, and then you know, with a mad scientist, you know, switching brains movie, and then zombies and everything else. And uh, I mean, it really is such a throwback to a lot of older horror films. But uh, I really do. I recommend this movie. It's a lot of fun. Like I said, there's some schlocky effects and everything, but I think, personally, I think this is kind of part of its charm. But uh, I'm actually happy to have this on 4K. And uh, if nothing else, maybe it the 4K transfer wasn't all I hoped it would be, but that being said, though, I mean, look at the tons of bonus features I got to watch on here. So, all in all, I think this is definitely worth it. So, so yeah, I recommend Zombie Holocaust on 4K. Uh, so that's it. So if anybody took the time to watch all this, excuse me, I thank you for doing it. I appreciate you for doing it. I honestly hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, could you please leave it a like? If you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And uh, there's lots more to come. And uh, that's it, my boils and ghouls. Take care, everybody. Have a good night, and I'll see you later.